Good morning. It's Friday the uh, 2nd of February and um, I've just been to Monmouth. I um, had to take the old dog into the vets. Uh, nothing too serious. He's just had to have a few checkovers because he was a bit poorly. But while I was there, I decided to call into Millbrook Nurseries, which is near, near Monmouth. I don't go there very often because I normally go to um, Sling near Colford, which is uh, closer to here. And uh, I always prefer to support local if I can. Use it or lose it, they say. So um, anyway, seeing as I was down in that direction, went to Millbrook Nurseries and they had their seed potatoes sold by weight. So, I have come home with a pound each of Pentland Javelin first earlies, Charlotte second earlies, did I say a pound each? I meant a kilo each. Curse <laughs> uh, pink, main crop, and Maris Piper, main crop. And something else, I, I didn't know they sold, just because I don't go there very often. I found some Silver Grove compost. I've never used it before, I've heard good things about it great for seedlings so I bought a so I bought a bag of silver grow see how I get on with that when I went to the till with it the guy said oh a bag of posh compost <laughs> yeah it cost a lot more than normal um, what was it at 10.99 a bag uh, but if I have a bit of success rate with that then I'll be quite happy there's the potatoes. Okay, so that's everything in the conservatory. Chitting away. Ready for planting.
It's uh, Saturday, 3rd of February, and just arrived at the allotments. And today, my task is to sort out that border there with the um, used to have the um, what they call fruit bushes in. So I'm going to try and sort that out today. covers off, see what needs digging out underneath and prepare that for sowing squashes I think. It's quite hard going because the, the roots, the tap roots down so deep get there eventually. I've got that one to dig out as well. That took a bit of brute force. <sighs> And uh, I've broken my fork in the process. Look at that. <laughs> oh, well. Thankfully, that's my own fork and not one I've borrowed from the allotment shed. <laughs> Getting there slowly, but I think now it's time for a cup of coffee. Right, I'm going to go home, have myself a sandwich, and then I'll come back later and do a bit more. All this firewood will be good for kindling. Well, that's that bed sorted. Um, Alistair went out this morning and he's bought some old scaffolding planks so as we can fix that, that edge there. It had been slowly creeping out onto the path and uh, the, um, the guy who cuts the grass was getting that he couldn't get his mower in that space there. So that's got that organized. I've put um, several bags of manure on that bed. And I'll probably plant through the weed suppressant this year. What did I say I was gonna, oh yeah, um, squash. And then I've gone, gosh it's windy, I've gone between these two borders with suppressant and bark, which I'm also going to do uh, between one, two, three, three paths with that now. But uh, that'll be for another day because I've run out of weed suppressant and wood chip. Yeah, satisfied with that today. I'm going to take a lamb's lettuce home to have with salad later. Which one should we have? Ooh, choices, choices. That will do. Got a bit of excitement going on in the bedroom windowsill. Broad beans are up and more leaks. 
great. Even the ones that, uh, I don't know where they came from, I don't even know what they are. It'd be a bit of a mystery. blowy out there today so I've come inside the greenhouse it's uh, Sunday oh it's afternoon now Sunday what is it the 4th of February and I am going to tidy up the borders in here um, this doesn't get much Sun in the winter so I seem to have grown a bit of moss over winter because I've been a bit lapse of about keeping the door open and getting everything ventilated. So I'm going to just scrape that off and put some fresh um, compost down. In that corner there, there was a rat run. Um, we've caught the rat now, um, but it, it kept dragging stones in every time it came through the greenhouse because it was just trying to get at the chickens, or rather the chicken feed. But now we've got the now we've got this feeder. It doesn't do it anymore because it can't get at the feed. The girls are all very relaxed today. I'm having a dust bath there. Good girls. That's better. It's much uh, tidier. Um, this year, um, I'm going to put my cucumbers in this side where I had the tomatoes last year, and I'm going to put my tomatoes this side. Um, where the cucumbers are. Let's get the, the staging back in. This job is always easier when uh, the staging's out and it, it's soon to be filled with seedlings. So uh, get on and do that. There's the peas now in the greenhouse and the onions, those are the spare onions and um, I'll soon be bringing down the broad beans from the bedroom windowsill and the leeks and they can go in here. If we do get a very cold snap I can always 
bring them back in the conservatory but they they should be pretty frost free in here now well that's it for this video does everybody else get as messy as me no i just seem to get filthy when i'm gardening um i think this week has been really quite a successful week um and last week i've got an awful lot done this retirement lark really makes a big difference to uh how the garden's looking at this time of year. I've never been so far forward. So I can see the red camera light is flashing on my camera. So I'll say goodbye from me and goodbye from the chickens. <laughs> see you next time.